Hey gamers! If you are a fan of Metroidvania games, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I will show you best Metroidvania games with pixel art graphic that you should play. Some of you might disagree with the ranking, but that's okay. All I know this game is a good game. But before we go into the list, let's hear quick words from our sponsor. Do you know that Instant Gaming is a great place to buy games? It is well known for providing exclusive discounts that cannot be found anywhere else, and it is also very easy to use. You can browse and buy games for a variety of platforms, including PC, PS5, Xbox, and even Nintendo Switch. All you gotta do is just enter the link in the description below, create your own ID, and start searching for your favorite games. When you purchase them, you will receive an activation code for your preferred platform. And by clicking on my link, you're not only save your money, but also help support this channel. All right then, let's get back to the list. Phenotopia Awakening is a standout Metroidvania, competing with big names like Hollow Knight and Iconoclasts. What sets it apart is its relaxed, thoughtful pacing giving it a unique identity. This 2D action-adventure features a Zelda 2-like overworld map, a slick inventory system, and plenty of secrets. Combat requires strategic timing, with a short-range swipe and a broader charged attack, both with a wind-up. Additionally, a green stamina bar limits your attacks, making it essential to measure each strike carefully. The game's design is methodical and unforgiving, encouraging you to figure things out without hand-holding. Carrion is a 2D pixel art game with a Metroidvania structure. It's a stealth horror game, and it's described as a reverse horror game in which you assume the role of an amorphous creature of unknown origin, stalking and consuming those who imprisoned you, meaning it allows players to control a tentacled monster whose goal is to make its way through a facility, stalking and killing humans in its path, and then grow and evolve as you tear down this prison and acquire more and more devastating abilities on the path to retribution. Combat is fast and brutal. You're not invincible, and you quickly lose mass when you're shot or set on fire. This vulnerability forces you to be cunning, using objects as shields or possessing enemies with stealthy tendrils. Moon's Cars aims to capture the mysterious atmosphere that Dark Souls is known for. In Moon's Cars, you play as Grey Irma, a fierce warrior on a quest to find a deity called the Sculptor. Irma wants answers to her existence. Combat is fast-paced and aggressive. You must strike enemies to collect Ichor, a substance used for healing and casting powerful spells. The game also features talismans to enhance your build, which can be purchased or found throughout the world. These talismans can enhance your abilities, allowing for interesting setups that suit your fighting style. Moon's Cars is challenging but fair. Each boss offers a substantial yet enjoyable challenge, providing a welcome break from navigating the game's maze-like corridors. Iconoclast is a Metroidvania platformer with a deep story. You play as Robin, who is fighting against a strict religious group on a quest for dwindling resources. It combines exploration, puzzle solving, and a bit of backtracking. The puzzles are built around a few key elements, with Robin's wrench being the most versatile tool. It can act as a weapon, deflect projectiles, open mechanisms, conduct electricity, and even act as a grappling hook. The wrench is crucial to solving the game's many puzzles and navigating the world. Boss fights in Iconoclast are varied and often include puzzle elements. They require both mental acuity and dexterity, keeping the gameplay fresh and exciting. Toho Luna Nights is a Metroidvania RPG by indie studio Team Ladybug. It's a fan game of the Bullet Hell series Toho. The story follows Sakuya, a skilled maid sent to a parallel universe by her mistress, Remilia Scarlet. Sakuya's powers are stripped away, and she must explore, regain her abilities, and prove her strength to return home. The combat is unique, focusing on projectiles. Sakuya throws knives that use mana, which can be regained by getting close to enemies when time is frozen. The game features a time-slow ability, allowing strategic attacks and puzzle-solving. 
The game has five areas, each ending with a boss fight. These bosses unleash a barrage of projectiles, making the battles intense. Mamadora Reverie Under the Moonlight offers a compelling journey through its dark Castlevania-inspired world. You play as Keho, a priestess wielding a magic leaf, who ventures to Car City to stop a plague affecting her village. The game leans heavily on the Castlevania side of Metroidvania, with dark and moody scenery that complements its somber story and characters. Combat in Mamadora is simple yet challenging, with only two offensive options, bow and leaf, and one defensive move, dodging. The limited options make the game difficult, requiring precise timing and a good understanding of attack speeds. Axiom Verge is a game hailed for its innovative design takes classic gaming concepts and elevates them to new heights leaving a lasting impression. The game starts with Trace, a scientist caught in an experiment gone wrong, awakening in Sudra after a lab explosion. The story unfolds with twists and turns, supported by deep lore revealed through hidden documents scattered across the world. The gameplay is diverse, with a variety of weapons and abilities that allow players to explore and progress through the game. The game's sound design is also noteworthy, with great music and sound effects that enhance the sci-fi atmosphere. However, the game can be challenging, and some players may find the lack of direction frustrating. Lost Ruins is an action Metroidvania anime game that immerses players in a rich environment, challenging them with a diverse array of enemies that require strategic mixes of magic, ranged, and melee attacks. The combat system allows for the equipping of various weapons and magical abilities, offering a customizable experience. Accessories such as the Amulet of Life can be crucial, providing additional protection against the myriad of monsters and traps that litter the ancient ruins. The game's boss fights are multi-stage affairs, demanding both skill and strategy. The ability to pause and plan your approach adds a layer of tactical depth, making victories feel hard-earned and rewarding. Patience and careful planning are essential, echoing the challenging gameplay of Soulsborne games. Gestalt Steam and Cinder may become your next favorite game if you enjoy Metroidvania platformers. The game kicks off in Canaan, a city powered by steam and technology. You play as Alathia, a mercenary investigating the city's underground vaults. Gestalt combines steampunk aesthetics with a bit of decay. You'll fight robots explore forgotten vaults and face humans with clockwork gadgets. As you play, you earn upgrade points to customize Alathia. While you can unlock everything eventually, more customization options would have been nice. The abilities such as Gunslinger and Swordswoman are satisfying to use. While the game is short, lasting about 5 to 6 hours, it still provides a rich story. Released in 2002 for the Game Boy Advance, Metroid Fusion marks the fourth main entry in the Metroid series. In this game, you play as Samus Aran, the renowned bounty hunter who has previously fought the space pirates and their dangerous Metroids. Unlike previous entries, Metroid Fusion has a more linear structure. Samus receives directions from an onboard computer named Adam, named after her late commanding officer. This guidance narrows your path, which can be less exploratory compared to earlier games. However, this linearity suits the shorter, portable gameplay experience. Samus's abilities evolve as she reclaims her power-ups. While she starts weakened, she gradually regains her skills through gameplay, including the signature spinning jump and eight-directional aiming from past games. Castlevania Symphony of the Night is a classic game that helped define the Metroidvania genre. Set in Dracula's castle, it's full of monsters, demons, and treasures to discover. You play as Alucard, Dracula's son, on a quest to explore the castle and uncover secrets about his father and his own powers. 
The gameplay is a seamless blend of action, exploration, and role-playing elements. Unlike previous Castlevania games, Alucard moves fluidly and gains new abilities as you progress. From transforming into a bat to wielding powerful weapons, the feeling of growing stronger is both satisfying and exciting. In addition, the game can be brutally difficult in the early stages, with harsh penalties for death. Record of Lodos War Deed Lit in Wonder Labyrinth is a standout Metroidvania that draws clear inspiration from Castlevania's Symphony of the Night. The standout feature is the Spirit System, which lets you switch between wind and fire elements. This mechanic is reminiscent of the Ikaruga gameplay, where matching elements can protect you from damage and is crucial during intense boss fights. The game introduces various clever challenges, like shadowy figures and wooden mannequins that keep the experience engaging. Puzzles with arrows and projectiles add variety, and your bow proves useful both in combat and puzzle solving. The difficulty remains balanced throughout, offering a tough yet fair challenge. After finishing the game, you can unlock a boss rush mode and various custom challenges, allowing for replayability and customization. The Last Faith is a 2D action-adventure game that borrows heavily from popular titles like Castlevania, Dark Souls, and especially Bloodborne. The story follows Eric, a rather bland protagonist, on a quest to fight corruption and cure a mysterious disease. Combat is a highlight, with a variety of weapons and spells to experiment with. Players can equip four weapons slash spells at once, including transforming weapons similar to Bloodborne's trick weapons. Boss fights are generally well-designed and require patience and tactical thinking to defeat. The game features tight level design, solid combat, and attractive visuals. While The Last Faith borrows heavily from its influences, particularly Bloodborne, it manages to create an enjoyable Metroidvania experience. Death's Gambit Afterlife is an extended version of the original Death's Gambit. This game is a 2D Souls-like action RPG with Metroidvania elements. Players will find a robust skill tree and a variety of abilities to unlock, along with tough boss battles that will test their skills. In addition, the game's platforming is well done and encourages exploration and backtracking to uncover new areas and items. The death mechanic is fairly forgiving allowing players to respawn at the last Death Idol statue they visited with all of their collected essence. However, losing healing feathers on death can be a bit frustrating. Now Blasphemous and the sequel Blasphemous 2 offers a compelling blend of Metroidvania exploration and Souls-like combat. Set in a darkly fascinating world steeped in twisted Catholic imagery, the game's striking visuals and intricate animations are particular highlights, bringing its grotesque monsters and bosses to life in memorable ways. Combat feels satisfying, with a variety of weapons and abilities to master. The integration of weapon-specific traversal mechanics adds an interesting layer to exploration. The progression system, with its various upgrades and collectibles, offers depth for dedicated players. For players willing to embrace its mysteries and overcome its challenges, Blasphemous 2 offers a rewarding adventure that lingers in the mind long after the final boss falls. And that's it for today. What do you think about this list? I know there are Metroidvania with pixel art style games out there that I haven't mentioned yet, Please share your favorite best Metroidvania with pixel art style games that you think deserve a spot here. Don't forget to like this video, and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss another great list. And as always, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.